Okay, the purpose of this little video clip is to show you a do-it-yourself electric trim system. You can see my kit fox here has a trim tab at the back and the trim tab going up and down here. It's actually actuated by this little unit called a servo tester. And it's inside the cockpit here. I just reach up over my head. I can set nose up and nose down on it. So I'll take you to the back and I'll show you kind of a close-up of how it works. So typically this is all in behind this fairing here. Um, a lot of the servo uh, trim systems, the electric ones you can buy off the shelf, they actually mount directly onto the elevator. Now this airplane spends most of the time on floats and, and the amount of water uh, pelted against the back here. I really didn't want electronics sitting out in the slipstream. Also it's a very thin elevator here on the Kit Fox so really I have no room to put the servo inside of it. So I mounted it behind the fairing here. If I open it up you can see what I've got is I've got this uh, aluminum mount and it actually pins itself onto the uh, where the, the screws go in to hold the fairing on. There's a radio control quarter scale high tech servo. You can get these at any of your hobby shops. It runs through this plastic push rod. It's got a music wire that screws into the end but it's actually plastic inside of plastic. And that allows me to go down and use the existing uh, channel that was already fabriced right into the elevator and it's got a real tight 90 degree corner. Now the whole key to this assembly is that push rod. This is what it looks like. It's very free, easy to move. It's actually plastic within plastic and the yellow plastic is blind so there's very little friction. I used to use one of these Bowden cables which is a metal housing with a metal um, insert to it and going around that 90 degree corner it was always seizing on me. Uh, the manual trim it had to run 17 feet of cable up to the cockpit and I could never get the thing to, to last for more than a week or two before it would seize up again. Now because I've got plastic it's a very smooth operation. I can go around that tight 90 degree corner and even though it gets wet back there sometimes it's never going to corrode on me. So all in all it works really good. This is what the servo looks like. It's actually a high tech and the number on it is a uh, uh, 5735 MG. Now what makes these things unique is they're actually programmable and you can get this little high-tech servo tester unit and what it allows you to do is you can set the center point, you can set the end points on the travel, and you can do this all programmatically and once you disconnect this unit and then I use that little cheap servo tester in the cockpit uh, it takes and remembers the settings. So I've been doing all kinds of flight testing and setting the travels and whatnot, and it's really easy just to plug this thing in and set the travels on it. Uh, all in all, the whole assembly cost me about 75, 80 bucks. The servo, 15, 20 bucks. Uh, just got it from a flea market type thing at a radio control show. All you've got to do is make sure you get a programmable one. They stopped making these actually when the, the radio control transmitters could do the job. The real secret, as I mentioned, go to the hobby store, you can pick this up, and it's just